टुडे विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर टेन द सरमन एट बनारस ऑफ आर टेक्स्ट बुक फुट फर्स्ट फ्लाइट इट इज ऑन पेज नंबर वन थर्टी वन एंड चिल्ड्रन इट्स अबाउट द रिलीजियस टॉक दैट वॉज गिवन बाय गौतम बुद्धा एंड इट इज अ सोर्स दैट इज टेक रिटर्न बाय बैटी रेंसा सो दिस इज एन एक्सट्रैक्ट गिवन इन दिस चैप्टर फ्रॉम दैट सरमन दैट वॉज गिवन बाय गौतम बुद्धा सो लेट्स रीड इट आउट एंड फाइंड आउट वट ही सेड गौतम बुद्धा फाइव सिक्सटी थ्री बी सी टू फोर एटी थ्री बी सी began life as a prince named siddhartha gautama in northern india at 12 he was sent away for schooling in the hindu sacred scriptures and four years later he returned home to marry a princess they had a son and lived for 10 years as befitted royalty at about the age of 25 the prince here to for shielded from the sufferings of the world while out hunting chanced upon a sick man then an aged man then a funeral procession and finally a monk begging for alms these sights so moved him that he at once went out into the world to seek enlightenment concerning the sorrows he had witnessed so children please take a pencil with you so that you can write down the meanings of all the difficult words which i'm going to tell you so gautam buddha he began his life as a prince and his name was siddharth gautam and he was born in northern india he was the prince of a kingdom in northern india and when he was 12 years old he was sent away from his home for schooling for learning in the hindu sacred sacred is pious pavitra scriptures scriptures are the sacred writings of a religion so at the age of 12 he was sent for learning all these things and after 4 years he came back home to get married so he was 16 years old at that time when he came back to marry a princess after their marriage they had a son and they lived together for 10 years as befitted befitted means be appropriate since he was a prince so of course he was he lived the life of a prince royalty royalty uh, the people of royal blood they are known as the royalty so together they lived a very good uh, happy life as the prince and at about the age of 25 the prince here to for here to for means before now shielded shielded means protected from the suffering sufferings are the pains or you can say the understanding of pain the pain or the suffering uh, sorry sufferings is the state of pain you can say suffering of the world so when he was 25 years old we don't know anything about the pain and the sufferings in the world because he was just he remained inside his palace and he was not supposed to go out he didn't know anything about the pain and sufferings of the world we can say he was protected from all those things but what happened once when he went out for hunting hunting is you know it's an activity or a sport of killing of wild animals so one day when he went out for hunting he happened to see a sick man first then he saw an old man an aged man and then finally a funeral procession funeral is you can say it is the death ceremony shav yatra and after that he happened to see a monk monk is you can say a sadhu he was begging for alms alms is the money or the food that is given to a poor so he happened to saw all, to saw all sorry to see all these four persons first he saw a sick man then an old man then a funeral procession and finally a person begging for food these sights so moved him means he was so touched by them that he at once decided to g- come out into the world to seek enlightenment enlightenment concerning the sorrows he had witnessed means he wanted to know what is the reason of these sufferings of the 
sufferings and the pain in the world so he wanted to get knowledge of that so for that he left his palace and he went out into the world he wandered for 7 years and finally sat down under a people tree wandered means he moved here and there aimlessly to move aimlessly so he moved here and there for 7 years in order to get knowledge in order to get enlightenment about all that and finally he decided to sit down under a people tree where he vowed to stay vowed means to take a serious promise to do something he himself decided that he will sit there until enlightenment came yani ki jab tak unhe gyan nahi prapt ho jata wo usi ped ke niche baithne ka unhone dhird nishchay kiya enlightened after 7 days he renamed the tree the bodhi tree tree of wisdom and began to teach and to share his new understandings so he sat there in that position for 7 days and after that he gained knowledge he got enlightenment and he renamed that people tree also as the bodhi tree bodhi tree is means it is the tree of wisdom it is the tree of knowledge because by sitting under that tree only he come to know or he gained that knowledge and that wisdom and he started teaching what he had learned to other people also and he started sharing his knowledge and his understandings means what he has here understanding means his learnings at that point he became known as the buddha and when he decided to teach and to share his knowledge then he was known as buddha buddha means the awakened or the enlightened the buddha preached his first sermon at the city of banaras most holy of the dipping places on the river ganges so he first gave his sermon sermon is a religious talk a moral talk you can say so he first delivered his religious talk in the city of banaras and that was considered as the most holy most pious city of the dipping places means bathing places you can say ganga nadi ke kinare log pavitra mani jati thi wo nadi aur wo shehar bhi aur log wahan par just to wash away their sins people went there and they dip into river ganga so he gave his first uh sermon there that sermon has been preserved and is given here so what he said on that day his first sermon the religious or the moral talk that he gave there on that day it has been kept safe and what he told us that is given here in this chapter it reflects the buddha's wisdom wisdom is you know it's a good sense of judgment you can say so about one inscrutable kind of su- sufferings Inscru- inscrutable means something which cannot be understood so he first gave his sermon at banaras and what he said is given here in the next paragraphs kissa gautami had an only son and he died in her grief she carried the dead child to all her neighbors asking them for medicine and the poor people and the people said she has lost her senses the boy is dead so a story is given here in the form of that uh, sermon it's about a lady whose name was kissa gotami and she had only one son and her son died so she was so mad with her grief that she carried that dead body of the baby to all her neighbors and she asked everyone to help her by giving medicine to her baby to her boy and all the people said that she had lost her senses and because the boy is dead and still she is carrying the dead body she wanted to make her son alive but that was not possible at all at length kisa gotmi met a man who replied to her request i cannot give the medicine for the child but i know a physician who can so finally she met a man who responded to her questions who responded to her request and he said that i cannot give the d is you i cannot give you any medicine for the child die means the for the child but i know a person who can treat your child who can give you some medicine for your child i will tell you about that physician about that doctor and the girl said 
pray tell me sir who is it and the man replied go to sakyamuni the buddha so the girl here is kisa gautami so she replied that please tell me sir who is that who can make my child awake again and the man replied to her that go to sakyamuni sakyamuni is again it's another name for buddha the buddha so he said go to buddha he will tell you something kisa gautami repaired to the buddha and cried repaired means she went to she went to buddha and she cried there lord and master give me the medicine that will cure my boy and she requested buddha to help her by giving her medicine so that her boy can be she can be made alive again the buddha answered i want a handful of mustard seed and when the girl in her joy promised to procure it the buddha added the mustard seed must be taken from a house where no one has lost a child a husband a parent or friend so buddha replied to her request that i want a handful handful is you can say uh, a quantity that fills the hand ek mutthi bhar you can say of mustard seed then the the girl was very happy she said no problem and she promised that definitely she will bring a handful of mustard seeds because it was very easy to get a handful of mustard seeds from anywhere and she promised to procure means to obtain to get it and when she promised then buddha said that but remember that the mustard seed they should be taken from such a house where no one has died means neither a child nor a husband a parent or a friend means the seed should be brought from a house where no death has occurred children that's all for today rest we will do in the next class